Welcome everyone to today's Expo 2019 in the Silver Springs. My name is Roy Murray. I'm the Contracts Manager for Glenbury. Before we start anything, I just want to show you a very quick video, just the uh, images to tell the positive words. So uh, you're probably aware we're a construction company really. So just want to show you this and then give you the information then after a good chat. Okay, thanks guys. There you go. This is a small video, just showing a little bit about Glenbury and what we do. Thank you. So Glenbay, as you can see from the video, we're a, we're a building company. Uh, so just before I carry on actually, that's actually one particular uh, job you saw in the video. That's um, we're in a village in Greystones in Wicklow. Uh, 202 apartments being built with 60 uh, residential, residential units behind it. Fabulous development overlooking the, the marina. We built that marina as well. So we're a big builder, big developer, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that uh, today. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of an introduction, an introduction to Glen Bay, about who we are and what we're about. Maybe link that as well into my journey with the company, what I did before that, how I've come back join the company and kind of come back to Cork to work on our developments that we're starting over here in Cork. Uh, we have two developments at the moment ongoing in Cork. One is in Douglas and the other is in Black Rock. So we have one in Ridge and Eden in Cork that are live and active at the moment. We have 15 direct staff working for us there and about 120 contractors working there. Uh, just going to talk as well about just Glenbury itself, how the company came around, its start, its genesis, where it is now, where it's going, its future plans and then linking those plans to Cork, what the rollout plans for the company is going to be over the next year, uh, couple of years. And we have great plans for Cork, which I'll discuss in more detail. Uh, and then we'll do a quick Q&A afterwards. Okay. So, Glenbay, uh, a PLC company. Uh, that's a site we have up in uh, Fagor Hill. 600 units, we built up there at the moment. Very successful development. 
So my journey within Glen Bay and how I started, uh, everyone has a journey, like we're all on our own journeys. So I'm a civil engineer, born and raised in Cork, uh, 1995 I qualified. From 1995 to 2011, I worked for a developer here in Cork, developing a lot of sites in and around Blarney, uh, Willison Park, Glonary, out in Middleton, Rose Hill. So I have lots of experience and uh, lots of great memories and stuff building in Cork over the years. Then this little thing called the Celtic Tiger Collapse came along, affected us all. I'm sure a lot of people here know about that. And like many people, I emigrated for a couple of years, went to Africa for a couple of years, uh, then I returned to Ireland, lucky enough in 2015, back to Dublin to work with one or two developers in Dublin before an opportunity came along for me to join Glen Bay. That was last year. So I've been working in Dublin, uh, in two sites in Dublin, uh, North County to Dublin, and uh, I was aware of the fact that they were really rolling up regionally in Cork. So uh, fantastic for me. I was given the opportunity to come back to Cork, Cork. So my story has kind of come full circle from leaving in 2012 to now back in 2019 uh, managing uh, Mirror Ridge in, the, in Douglas and Cork. So it's been a great story for me, this company, in terms of uh, what it's done for me. Glen Bay ultimately is a residential builder. It builds homes. People need to live in homes. So we build them. We build them. And uh, we are a PLC company, uh, floated in 2017 in the stock market, so well funded for the future. I suppose with those projects that we're rolling out, we're building communities and looking at the latest CSO facts and figures. Uh, between now and 2031, we need 480,000 houses uh, in this country, of which a sizable portion are needed for Cork. And we, we want to be part of that experience in Cork. So I'll talk a little bit more about the developments we have coming up. Um, but we are very interested in reaching out to people today and in the coming weeks and months to join us uh, for the particular projects we have available. Uh, we're building a range of different developments from initially now we're building housing, but we will be in the next couple of years building apartments as well as demand increases and we're very excited to be Developing, as I say, up in Maryborough Ridge, we have a fabulous young team up there, new team, and in Eden, and we're building a complete different range of different type of houses, starter houses, uh, and we're building certain high-end houses as well. So, I suppose Glenda started like anything, has a beginning, and I suppose that beginning began with um, a man called Stephen Garvey, he's our Chief Operations Officer. Uh, he formed a company called Bridgedale in 2003. Uh, Stephen is a very ordinary guy, he was a classroom contractor, uh, but started his own company, worked hard and I suppose he'd be a bit of a visionary and he saw an opportunity to do something quite significant. So he joined together with a chap called John Mulcahy and Justin Bickle and in 2017 the Glen Bay Properties PLC was floated in the Irish stock market uh, and it was capitalised at 550 million euros. A uh, couple of months later, it went back to the market and it got another 214 billion. So, we we're very close to being a billion euro company at the moment. So, we're a significant player on the Irish market. Uh, our housing land bank at the moment is 12,500 units plus, uh, of which we have 3,000 plus in Cork, and that's going to expand rapidly over the coming years. Uh, and that's the strategy we have in place. Some interesting facts and figures. So last year we built 1,100 units. Uh, and this year we intend to build a lot more by the end of the year. It'll be a significant increase in that figure. Uh, by 2023, we will be building in excess of 2,000 units per year uh, regionally. So that's a significant number. Uh, we currently have 780, uh, 279 staff in our company. Uh, obviously, we're looking to expand in that in Cork, reaching out to see uh, what opportunities we can offer people here in Cork. And uh, just in terms of our contractors alone, there's in excess of 1,000. Uh, 15 live developments, 
including obviously with two live here in Cork, uh, where we will have a couple more developments. I'll speak about in a minute coming online this year. Uh, and our spend alone so far is 615 million euros. As I say, it's 12 and a half thousand houses on our in our books. And that means effectively for every for every eight houses that are built in our company, one is in Cork. Uh, just talking personally about the company and the people that are in it, um, because businesses are great until they have the right people in place. So we entered a competition called Great Place to Work. Uh, our first time to enter that competition is quite a prestigious competition. We actually won an award on a construction company that won it. I think that's very significant uh, in the sense of the people that are in this company, uh, you know, first of all, won an award. I think that's a, that's a great achievement for our company. So we're thrilled about that. Um, so why did I put up that picture? One of the land acquisitions we've made recently is just across the river here, just to the right of the uh, parking cave. It's the Ford Motor Company. Plant. It's a uh, derelict site now, uh, but we have some serious intentions for the site. It's going to become uh, an iconic development on the landscape of Cork over the next couple of years. And we're very interested in getting the right people to join us to create that. Um, just on a personal note, my uncle is potentially one of those people in that crowd. He worked in the Ford Motor Company from 1947 to its close in 1987. The story of the Mo uh, uh, Ford Motor Company is a very interesting one. Um, 1847, uh, the Ford family moved out of Alan Escarty, uh, joined the family and went to America. They had some of them Henry Ford, uh, became, I suppose, a global industrialist, but he never lost sight of his connections to Cork. And he wanted to do something for Cork. So he came back, looked around, liked a particular area over here in Cork, and at that stage his company was quite big, and he had a big, uh, a big board. They followed him to the nail for Cork. It was never to come here, it was to go to Southampton. So, a little thing called World War One came along and it changed everything. So it was earmarked for Southampton, uh, and then in 2000, uh, or sorry, in, in 1912, they made the decision to actually to move it here uh, because the uh, U-boats joined the 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 side. In 2015, they made a decision to move because the U-boats were sinking the ships outside of Southampton every day of the week, and they couldn't guarantee that. Ships full of cars for the European market wouldn't be sunk, but to move the for here would be guaranteed safe passage. So that's one of the reasons why. Another reason why is there was a food shortage for people in the UK, and a lot of the men had been drafted. So Cork was a, a choice, it was a, a no brainer at that stage. And that's why we have that particular site. So the site itself is steeped in a lot of history, and we're very sensitive around that. Uh, there's a great deal of heritage around that site. So, that's where you plan for it. So that's part of Keith. This is going to be a new bridge that's going to be built to service the marina. This whole docklands is going to be completely changed. At the moment, it's a slightly run down industrial zone, but this particular area here that's in the dark grey is what we're going to build there. So it's a formidable project. It's a 17 story hotel. 16 story uh, commercial premises, of which hopefully you can see me one of the top windows, because the top two floors will be our company headquarters at some stage. Uh, and then some more ancillary premises. And into the back here is going to be between 1100 and 1300 uh, apartments servicing the city, right on the, 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 the just on the, the other side of the city. I think what's very interesting as well is going to be a whole new marina developed right away down so you can. Get up in the morning, jump on your bike, cycle along the marina, five minutes later, and the same. It's an incredible piece of uh, development. So we're very interested in getting people involved in these kind of projects. So we're looking for quality surveyors, engineers, senior engineers, foremen, general foremen, clerk staff, anyone associated with that type of work in the construction industry uh, who would be very interested in being involved in that kind of project. Currently, at the moment, what's on our books is four, four jobs. So we have Maryborough Ridge, which I'm uh, involved with. 
So in Douglas, we're live there since the start of the year. We have a new team there. All didn't know each other when they, when they joined together. They're planning their first night out in two weeks' time. Uh, and that's very important to us, that we have the right teams and happy teams. Uh, we're live in Eden since just before Christmas. Uh, we're active uh, there putting 46 units. The, the, the Maryville Rich development, I should say, is going to be a 200 unit development, but with uh, potential of more development uh, next year, subject to planning. Uh, Maple Woods is in East Cork, it's in Middleton, where I live now. It's a 200 unit development, and we're expecting uh, a favourable granting of an application in very shortly. And obviously, I spoke about the, the Ford Motor Company. So, between the whole lot at the moment, there's close to 3,000 units, and uh, there's one or two more developments in the pipeline. So, we're here for the long term. We're very passionate about Cork. We win a Cork brand, I'm going to say that obviously. Um, but we want people to recognise our commitment to Cork, and we're very passionate about getting people involved with, with our journey. <coughs> I suppose we're a company that's involved in innovation. We like technology, we like processes. We think construction should move on with the times and we want to be part of that. So um, just with Maryborough Ridge and Eden, it's timber frame construction there. So offsite construction is something we're very interested in. We don't believe everyone should work hard all the time, we should make our systems work clever for us. And that way then we become much more productive and efficient for our silos. Um, we're very much interested in precast concrete. We use insulated form and we are using metal frame construction, which is a modular home system. So we're going to develop a double Dublin at the moment where uh, the houses come as steel box rooms dropped onto a floor slab, boxed together, roofed, and uh, a lot of the work, I'd say about 80% of the work is done offset. So innovation and technology is something that drives us as well. Uh, and we're very interested in people who are very interested in that sort of engineering system. So, I suppose, the type of people we're looking for, uh, at a very personal level, I'm a people person. I like people who are team players, and who can be ha happy people in their jobs are usually people who are pretty good at it. Um, so, when we're looking for ambitious people, I think the project suggest suggested they were playing that way, you know, trying to get ambitious people. Hardworking people and motivation is very important to us, and innovation, we love innovation. Um, there's just fantastic opportunities for our company coming up at the moment. Um, as I say, we're rolling out. We have 15 people uh, on our books at the moment direct. And as our different projects roll out here in Cork, we are reaching out now to say we're open for business. Uh, growth of people is very important. Um, we're a new company, we're ambitious ourselves, and we want people to develop with us. So, there is no gas ceilings at the moment in our company. Testament to my journey, I joined the company last year and back in Cork as a contracts manager. Uh, we're a well capitalized company, uh, so we're not here for six months or a year. This is a long term strategy to be in Cork. Uh, the people who join us know themselves uh, very quickly that we want to help them in their journey to reach their potential. So that's very important for us as well. Um, In-house, we have a lot of training and there's a lot of learning opportunities so people can really reach their potential. Uh, and we're very, very uh, excited about getting people in, people who show a real interest in bettering themselves. We want, to, we want to work with that. So we're doing a stand aid at the moment and we'd love for people to come down and chat to us uh, further about the opportunities available for the company. So that's in a nutshell. Looking for innovation, like minded people with a passion. join or expanding teams. We offer a dynamic and open collaborative working environment where you'll be able to succeed in your role. We're looking for surveyors, engineers, site managers, site foremen, health and safety officers, site administrators, skilled operatives, and probably a few more as well. But come to stand aid, we'd love to talk and see what we can offer you guys. So just add a little bit to that. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about um, careers and packages and whatnot. We are a very, very competitive company when it comes to packages and when it comes to people's uh, salaries. We offer very competitive salaries, but what you need to us, we offer bonus systems, pension schemes, and health insurance embedded in, 
and we have a whole range of um, packages to offer. So again, come down and speak to us in Stanley if, and we can talk more about that. I suppose the conclusion is we are a significant player now on the Cork uh, landscape. With 3,000 units to build, incidentally, uh, when you look up the National Development Plan, uh, the crisis of Cork works out to be about 3,400 units needed today for this for, for Cork. And we nearly have that in the land bank alone. Uh, we're well capitalised for the future. Um, as I say, a billion euros floating on the market nearly. Uh, so uh, financially, we're uh, in a very safe place. Um, I suppose, from my own personal journey, I did a lot of main contracting back in the day. And the one thing about main, main contracting is it's, there's no stability in it. Whereas we're a developer, so we're all about stability. We want longevity of employment. We want people to join us and not leave. Or we want to be on a journey with them and get the best out of them through training, education, and support. And we want to keep Cork people in Cork doing local jobs, traveling locally to different jobs, and have those jobs long term. That's very important to us. And I suppose the biggest selling, well, the biggest selling asset of the whole thing is for the client. We're the boss, we control our own destiny. So our future is in our hands. So that's very important. And also, the end here is significant. And then it's on a track to become America's biggest volume of home builder. But we're nearly there. In about two years, we'll be number one. So that's it. Uh, very happy to take any questions. Or have I said too much? Hello. Uh, we just question, you are only builders, developers. What about property? Do you sell them as well? Or only you just build? We, we are the developers. So there are lands or all our houses. We engage local selling agents to sell our property yeah. for us. So there are units. So we own the whole process. So we acquire the land, we engage our contractors, we build the units, and then we sell them on the market. We also have another element to a company called Glenvale Living. Well, Glenby Living is uh, an element that's to do with rentals. So we partner up with certain uh, financial institutions and we have another element to our business plan and that is to resources to, to uh, tr treat these uh, institutions as rentals. So that's another strength to our company. But to answer your question, uh, we're the developer. We own or we sell houses. So you have offices in Cork at uh, we are about to acquire offices at the moment. Our main base is in Maynooth at the moment, that's our HQ. But we're acutely aware that we need an office here within the next couple of months. So our, our, uh, our uh, operations director, uh, Pete Millen, is looking around Cork at the moment to acquire some property. Uh, property. But we reckon we'll have something permanent here in the next couple of months. Do you have any roles in the LLC or There's roles for everyone. So come to stand there and I'll talk to you. Any other questions, guys? Yeah. How you, can you say, uh, currently it's a very competitive market, so how you, uh, how you, can you say, com compete with local companies like Oshia Builders, uh, BAM, or maybe CISC? What's it's a competitive market, but yes. the market is, you know, where supply is starved. Okay, and demand driven. So even though we're competitive, um, you know, this city is in a housing crisis. So yes. there is a substantial amount of houses that need to be built, and there's plenty to share around amongst the developers. I suppose where we come from is some of the other smaller developers have a kind of a start-stop philosophy. You know, they might build three or four and then stop and then wait till they sell them. But because we are so well capitalized, we just don't need to do that. We can acquire sites fully finish them out and sell them uh, accordingly. The scale of your work here is impressive from start to finish. Some of your sites will be fields that you move in in a very, very short time. Absolutely. That's not the cut on, on, on quality. We all have to operate under the BCAR system, which is quality control that you just, you just have to uh, work under. But I suppose, just touching back on what I said earlier about the innovation, the only way we can achieve that is through the use of offsite construction. Traditional build, it just doesn't work. Um, but certainly, 
the sites that we operate are very heavily uh, prelimed with, with staff. We don't just have a foreman, we have a foreman, finishing foreman, senior engineer, site manager, civils manager, safety advisor. So we have a whole holistic solution to developing our sites, to make sure that we can start and finish in, in a set time. We have deliverables each year to achieve for our shareholders. And uh, I suppose to, to achieve that, we need to look at the systems of build that we have. But I suppose more in particular as well, um, we have very, very regulated construction programs. Like each of our sites in Cork develop not four to six houses per month, but four to six houses per week. It's doing a bit to achieve it. So we're, we have, so we're very conscious of having the right kind of contractors that can do that. Uh, having the right system of build, but having the right key staff as well. So we're, we don't undersupply our sites with uh, personnel. We almost always plan to make sure that we can get the targets and the quality in place. And that off-site construction, is that, is that under your own that you have? We are in the midst of acquiring some of these particular uh, suppliers of okay. these systems, yeah. But at the moment, we use probably all of the timber frame companies in the country. We would be a big player amongst them as our customers. We have two in Dublin who exclusively just work for us only. Uh, and again, we're looking at metal frame companies as well. So long term, uh, having to go to these companies is a solution. No, we we'll probably acquire some of these companies. Hello. Yeah. 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 The VAR rating that you aim for, uh, obviously it's in the A category, but do you tend towards the passive type? Um, currently, we are, we are using it's it's not the to go for A3. Okay, the A3 is 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 the set mantra that people go for. Um, when NZ kicks in, which it, it's been pushed out at the moment. For those who know about NZ, NZ is a new um, bunch of regulations that's going to come in to make the houses even more efficient. Uh, and I think that's just going to drive the rating even further. So ultimately, NZ will make it more airtight, more insulated, and a much more effective. Uh, an efficient heating system. So that's going to drive that A to probably an A1. Now, the downside of that is, um, you know, it's much more of a demand, and I'm not too sure uh, some of the smaller builders will be able to do that because it's very, very challenging on a, you know, in terms of the, the knowledge base to do that. But well, we're gearing ourselves up for that anyway. Okay, guys, I thank you very much for your time. As I say, we're done with Stand Aid, Paula. Sinead, Kira and Slav will be down there to take any questions. So thank you very much. Okay.